Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his teardown lab. A different kind of teardown today, and it's a different lens in my camera, not the usual one, but uh, I think we'll get the point across. I found this in the back of my fridge, and it's a Cornfield Bakery pasty. And there are two of these, and I've kind of already tried to consume one, but when I microwaved it, it peeled itself open like the alien in Aliens to reveal inside a wondrous, wondrous egg of food, a food egg. So I'm going to attempt to sort of dissect that. And I'm actually going to clean my blade slightly so I don't get... Oh, what? I'm going to break my blade slightly so I don't get poisoned by, uh, you know, some sort of cross-contamination. Um this blade slightly cleaner maybe don't do this at home kids if you've got dirty blades use a food quality blade crikey that is tough i'm just gonna i'm gonna zoom in in case you know i slip and chop my finger off you won't want to miss that detail but i want to see if i can extract the eggy goodness because it looked like a I say like a like an egg it obviously isn't an egg unless it's a, a meat egg and a, a meat egg is something you never want to eat because it sounds absolutely horrendous something like a dog might lay my dogs just laid an egg do not eat dog laid eggs that's for sure right so just cut the end off this sort of this pastry tear down and uh yeah you've got this dry crust uh, i feel i feel i can split it open so it's a bit like a kind of a Wowie, look at that brownness. And the pastry just tastes a bit pastry like. Um, yeah, nothing to be expected, really. It's uh, got the regular pastry taste. Let's just check for its resistance value. Here we go. Oh, currently it's exhibit, exhibiting quite a high uh, resistivity. There we go. So we're looking at somewhere. It's jumping around a bit, but I'm going to say, let's say about 80 kilo ohms. So that's 80 kilo ohms of pasty there. And we'll just try to extract this plop further. Peel it out. Look at that. There you go. Like a big biscuit so we've got some potato there by my thumb and some carrot and it looks like some maybe some swede and i can see onion in there and i think the gray matter is probably animal but i'll just have a little nibble here mm, oh quite a big nibble it all sort of fell off in my mouth mm. yeah i mean it's really good actually if you had pasties pasties are actually quite good just because this is a in need of a microwave doesn't really negate the fact it's actually a pretty well made one and there wasn't loads of fat and jelly um but there is this interesting taste in the pasty but i think it might be pepper hang on is it a combination of carrot swede and pepper give it out flavor hmm anyway i might as well just finish that now that would be my tea so i could reconstruct that and put it back in the fridge but i think i'll just chuck that in the bin now so for those of you abroad who don't know what a pasty is, now you do. It's a kind of a pie that you carry and it's crimped along the edge. And the idea being in the olden times, this was a big old crimp that you could hold it by. And if you were a miner, you'd nom it all up and then this bit that you're holding would be dirty with your black fingers and you would just chuck it away because it'd be all charcoal-y. You don't want any of that. Well, there you go. That's a bit of an odd one today, but uh, I think the next one we've well, got we've got another package all the way from Japan but it's too messy for me to film so we'll do that another day. But as ever guys, thank you for watching.